Zero Talk is quite literally all the talk right now. The evolution of the putter space has seen multiple brands release their respective versions. This test will be undertaken by a golfer who has never tried any Zero Talk putters and currently games a Scotty Cameron Blade. Will he approve of the Zero Talk putter revolution or simply dismiss it as another marketing gimmick? Right, Tom, first of all, thank you for coming on the channel. You're welcome, Andy. I'm looking for your expert opinion. And it's based on a conversation we had the other day in a pro shop where this idea of zero talk is, is relatively a new concept and it's yeah. certainly the buzzword right now it's in terms it. of putter tech. You, well, you've never tried a zero talk putter as yet. No, never ever tried one. No. I'm so interested to try them, yeah. Well, you're almost like the perfect guinea pig in a way because I, I, I'm very much pro this idea and this concept. It's worked well for me. But maybe I've sort of, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm sold into the idea. I'd like your kind of like straight off the bat. I've got four different putter types for you to try, four different brands. Great. I just want your honest feedback, mate, and, and, and instant feedback. Yeah, That's I'm all I'm looking for. Them, yeah. So we'll find out which one to start with. Uh, have a look and see what you think. Uh, literally never seen these before. Never so. ever seen them. Good luck, and then we'll Thank come you. back to you and see what you think. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. Well, I think we'll start. I know you've got no preference, so we'll start with the Lab uh, DF3. This has been the one that's kind of. Um, well, I think it's it's found a lot of tour players' bags over this last six months. It's certainly been the one that you know has grabbed a lot of attention, and it's a little bit funky, especially if it's the first time you've sort of seen one of these or tried one. So yeah. have a few rolls and just give me your feedback, and uh, let me know what you think. What did you, I mean, I'll ask you a few questions. What are your thoughts, first of all, on that head shape? And uh... Head shape's something I'm used to. It's funky. Yeah. Uh, haven't hit any putts with it yet, but certainly don't dislike the look of it. Okay. Preference plays a big role in hitting a good putt. Uh, I like the forward chaff lean that it gives you. Quite prone to one of those. There you go. It's got a 50% that's good so help. far. Yeah. Forward press is very noticeable in this, isn't it? Absolutely it, is, yeah. It's non-negotiable non-negotiable which is good now now for context you're a you're a scotty cameron kind of blade like style putter is that what you do yeah i'm a titleist ambassador so i've used scotty cameron's forever and i've i've uh, with having an arced stroke yeah a sort of garden gate stroke i yeah. seem to feel like i need that toe hang yeah, yeah. release yeah. effect yeah i uh, feel as though i missed too many putts to the right okay having said that straight away with this putter here i feel like i can start it i can line it up well i like the the contrast of the white shaft white grip on the black head and the okay. white alignment can start it online which is a huge just got to hit it hard enough which is a huge just move that one out of the way no problem you know start the ball online read the green well start the ball online yeah and then you've just got to swing it fast enough to get it there i suppose don't shake my shadow there that's not bad is it no it's good it's nice okay yeah. i don't want to say any too much more at this point because what i'll do i'll go and grab you another putter okay. and i just want we'll, we'll get an initial feedback on each of them and then we'll maybe do a little bit more, a bit more. Give, give you a bit more time with each of them right so this is these are new tom in the last couple of days uh, yeah. from callaway square to square they're calling up with the same principle it's good With this, you're going to notice like you've got a, a face type insert that is white hot, so that's obviously very familiar with a lot of golfers. It is. And you picked yourself an easier putt. There's a little bit of tiny little bit of right to left on this one. Yeah. yeah. Closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just went at the end. And that head style has been very popular. Yeah, very in, traditional in its sort, of sort of standard of. type. Yeah. Callaway head these days. Yeah, nice. Anything unique about that in terms of, uh, obviously you've gone from the lab, which has got some very sort of, like I said, unique elements. Uh, it's, it's it's a similar feel. Yeah. I, like the, I like the fact that we can keep it square. It looks like it'll set up square. Yeah. There's not as much of a forward shaft lean as the previous putter. Yeah. Uh, as far as being unique in, in its appearance, no, because of the the sort of jailbird head. Yeah. But I like the sense of shaftedness of it. Yeah. Well, it's uh, really interesting what you just said there, because we've or I've highlighted that as being a potential massive positive for Callaway in it not being unique, not, because there'll be a lot of golfers that are 
familiar with the head type. Yes. And they're just switching over to the, the to zero touch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so get that's that. That's interesting. I think that's very, very important because people people sort of like what they're used to. They do, yeah. So the change is minimal in that. I'm going to grab you one more, mate. We'll move on. Yeah, looking forward to it. I've seen this with Justin Rose, yeah. He was the first guy to bring one of these sort of, if we can use the word, funky looking putters into yeah, play, yeah. wasn't he? Then quit there, mate. 100% record. Yeah, get one of these, Andy. We two. Didn't move. Yeah. Again, all pretty much online. Um, Absolutely. Straight away, got the ball rolling at the hole. My question uh, was in relation to: Have you your three putters in now? Have you had any great sort of problems in, you know, adapting to the putter? No. Because you come from a blade, so you've almost like a, the opposite end of the spectrum in many ways. Yeah. Have you found any problem in, in sort of picking up the putter and getting it rolling at the hole out of any of them now? No, I haven't. No, no. I've, I've picked up a few putters in my lifetime, uh, which makes it easier. What I am finding about these is whether it's a placebo effect or not, it's working, is I don't seem to be worrying so much about the fact that I need to think about squaring the putter. Am That's I, is my ball position good enough to square it? Is my arc too big? Is my okay. arc too small? I'm almost putting trust in the fact that the technology in the head is 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 there to, to sort of the zero to, okay. to, to keep the putter square for me. So all I've got to do is line it up and pull the trigger. I really like that. I mean, that's not that's not something I'd have considered, but it's a great, and whether it's placebo effect or not, it doesn't really matter, because that's it the, works, it exactly. Works. But uh, yeah, that's that's really interesting. Okay, that's axis one done. Yeah. Uh, I've got one more to pass over to us from PXG, and again, a little bit of a funky neck, so I'll go and get that for you. Great, thanks Andy. Right, Tom, so PXG putter, like I said, a bit of a funky neck. Yes. Perhaps some more uh, head type that would be more familiar. It's a pretty much a standard mallet. There's nothing too much going on there yep. with the head profile. Yeah. Let's see how it rolls. Cross the line. Through the break. Interesting one again, and it probably follows on from what you've, you, you've just answered it in many ways, but do you, do you feel the head is staying square? Is that everything that is recognisable, do you think? It is. Yeah. The head is staying square to, to the, the path that I create with the putter. Yeah. And if I've got the ball in the right position and I've sort of picked the right line and I've, you know, I've lined it up essentially, then it should stay square to the line of the putter. Yeah. And again, all I've got to worry about, if I'm worrying, is is, is pulling the trigger and hitting yeah, it hard yeah. enough. I yeah. like that. What do you think, again, just on that one in particular, that, that, does that neck put you off at all? No, the neck is, uh, the, the, the neck's cleverly disguised with these. Yeah. Uh, in as much as you can see it, if you look at it from this angle, yeah. the, the S-bend or whatever they want to call it, but yeah. as you actually address the putt, yeah. it's, it appears to just go straight into the sort of the centres. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's a trick with the eyes. It's nice, Andy, yeah. It lines up well. Again, the contrasting colours. Yeah. If we carried on doing that, I'd have one. The contrasting colours are, uh, they're good. You know, there's research gone into this type of... Uh, effect on the eyes didn't think that one hard yeah. enough nice okay bud right on brilliant thanks for that and um it was great feedback and I, what, what i like about it is it's pretty much reiterated a lot of what i found in the individual reviews in in each of these so it, it's good to good to get that feedback summary df3 the uh, the lab putter liked it like the contrast in colors thought we could line it up very easily yeah. which is a must really like the forward press element okay. of it or the forward chaplain if you yeah, like to call that yeah so i could i could probably go and put that in the bag today without you trying it any further interesting uh what do we use next with axis one axis one put same yes yeah, slightly funkier um you know once you get around the fact that the head uh that the sort of the shaft goes into the head at a slightly different angle again set up well yeah probably wasn't as easy to line up with the with the sort of black shaft on the black head yeah but good could trust the sort of zero torque element and could pull the trigger yeah okay uh, then you moved into an. I should point out um, there's three head types available in the Callaway one, and that's what I was going to mention. So you tried Jailbird first of all. So on that putter, yeah. what do you think? 
Jailbirds are putter head that I like. I use a double wide because of my tendency to garden gate, but I've, I sort of do like the, the, the Jailbird um, the mallet head shape, head mallet shape, yeah. style, the colouring of it, yeah, and the fact that it's centre shafted uh, is a bonus for me. I'd like to sort of see a centre shafted putter if I could use one. Yeah. And again, easy to trust the sort of square okay. to square element. Of and it, for yeah. you on that, I mean, I don't know whether it would be a preference. We'd have a, we'll have a quick look at them after. Is there's a uh, there's a double wide, so so a blade style effectively and it's a number seven, the seven putter as well as available from, from Callaway in that range. Yep. And then finally you finish off with a PXG, only one head type in this, yep. the Allen, uh, summary on that one. Nice putter, again, I think the contrasting colours is easy to line up. Uh, it's quite a well disguised sort of neck system into the head. Wasn't as keen on the feel off the face, yep. uh, whether it's because of the sort of foam filled hollowness of it. Um, Quite like this sort of the softer the, the inserts on the previous three putters, a cool. bit more like a like a 303 mil that I yeah, did yeah, Scotty yeah. Cameron. Not a bad putter at all. If I had to use it, I wouldn't have a problem. Well, interesting and uh, great to see. So, well, great for me to get some feedback from from another golfer and uh, a far better golfer than me. But the the opinion on a putting green is really. I know it's very individual, and I had a little bit of a concern that you coming out of a you know a, a traditional blade style putter trying these for the very first time. I must admit, I did think you'd have more of a problem adapting too, too to drastic. them. Too drastic. But it no. but clearly wasn't. Not at all. No. Right, perfect, Tom. Thanks for that. Much appreciated. And uh, thanks to Heswell Golf Club as well, because uh, we filmed the last couple of videos uh, with these putters involved over the last few weeks. Bit of snow on the ground today, so uh, we're on the practice putting green. Perfect for this kind of test. And uh, thanks to you, Tom. You're and hopefully we'll see you in the future on some other videos and some more testing. I'd like to do it. Thanks, Andy.